location ok. So, shear force at point A, A what type of load is acting? At A it is a point load, so I have to take just right and just left. So, on right side I have drawn a line, put your hand on the right side of the section and see on the right side, is there any force? No, it will be 0. Then shear force at point A just right, so on just right of this you can see a force that is of 10 kilo Newton intensity and it is trying to push in the downward direction. So, shear force is taken as positive. Then we come to shear force at point B. Now, what is B? B has a couple moment. So, put your hand on point B and see on the right side only 10 kilo Newton force. So, we can show plus 10 kilo Newton force. Then shear force at point C. At point C put your hand and see on the right side again 10 kilo Newton force and this is a moment, but we are calculating shear force. So, we do not have to consider this moment. Students make mistake by adding or subtracting couple when we are doing shear force, you do not have to take that ok. So, it will be only plus 10 kilo Newtons, then shear force at point D. Now, D is again what type of loading? Point load. So, when point load is there, we have to go for just right and just left. So, shear force at point D just right. So, put your hand on the section and see on the right side only one load. So, plus 10 kilo Newton and shear force at point D just left ok. Shear force at point D just left. So, on this side ok. So, how many forces are there at A and at D. So, plus 10 and this 10 is in the upward. So, minus 10 it will be equal to 0 ok. So, now we have to draw the shear force diagram. We will take all the points in the vertical downward direction. Then draw the baseline positive values above the baseline, negative values below the baseline ok. So, to start with first is what are the maximum values we are getting plus 10 ok. So, this will be 5 and this will be 10. To start with shear force at point A just right 0, so at A 0, shear force at point A just left it is plus 10. So, plus 10 it is a point load, so vertical line shear force at point B plus 10 no load between A and B horizontal line. Again at point C plus 10 no load between B and C horizontal line. At point A just right plus 10 no load between D and C horizontal line and at point D just left 0, so vertical line. So, this is the shear force diagram show the confinement as it is positive write down plus write down the value and write down over here shear force diagram ok. Now, we it is a very simple thing now important part comes that is bending moment calculation when a couple moment is there. Generally it has been observed that each problem has one couple moment given ok. Couple moment we had studied in our support reactions uh, what is the couple moment. So, we first start with our uh, bending moment calculation, two things important, first is sagging and hogging, now you already know what is sagging, what is hogging and the second thing is okay, wherever couple is acting, you have to find out just on right of the couple and just on left of the couple, why? Because for a couple we have to draw a vertical line and to draw a vertical line we require two points to join those rights ok. So, bending moment at point A, so at point A we put our hands and see on the right side is there any force to produce moment at A? No, so that will be equal to what? 0. Then bending moment at point B, now at point B it is a couple moment, so I have to find out bending moment at point B just on right side ok. So, just on right side will be this line ok, put your hand on that line and see on the right side, how many forces there 10, 
what is the distance 1. So, 10 into 1 and how will it rotate? It will rotate like this. So, it will lift the beam upwards, it will be hogging and that is taken as negative. So, it will be minus 10. Then bending moment at point B just left. So, just left will be this side. Okay. Put your hand on that section and see on the right side how many forces are how many moment will be there? One will be due to 10 and second is couple. So, what we can write down? minus 10 into 1 okay, and second is 15 kilo Newton. Now, will it be positive or will it be negative? Will it be positive? Okay, will it be negative? So, it will be negative. How do you know it will be negative? So, for students it is very easy to understand that when the force is trying to lift the beam in the upper direction, it is hogging and the moment direction is how which direction? clockwise. So, over here it is also a clockwise. So, it will be hogging and hogging is taken as negative. So, it will be minus 10 minus 15 minus 25 kilo Newton meters. Then bending moment at point C. Again at point C couple is acting. So, we have to take bending moment at point C just right. So, this is right side of point C put your hand over here and see on the right side how many forces 10 and 15. So, minus 10 into what is the distance up to point C 2 and second is couple moment directly put the value no need to multiply distance because it is itself a couple moment. So, minus 20 minus 15 minus 35 kilo Newton meters. Then bending moment at point C just left. So, just left that is this line. Okay. Put your hand on this section line and see on the right side. So, what we have one vertical force and two couples. So, first will be minus 10 into 2, second will be minus 15 and third will be plus 15. Okay. So, the net will be equal to net will be equal to minus 20 kilo Newton meters and bending moment at point D. Now, D you can see at D also we have got a couple moment. So, what I have to do? I have to go just on right and just on right left. So, just on right how many forces are there? 1 tan kilo Newton, 115 and 115. So, what it will be? Same minus 10 into what is the distance up to point D 1, 2 and 3. So, minus 2 into 3 minus 15 plus 15. So, that is equal to minus 30 kilo Newton meters okay. and bending moment at point D just left. So, just left that means I have to consider this couple moment also. Okay. So, what it will be minus 10 into 3 minus 10 into 3 that is this 10 force into 1, 2 and 3. Second is couple moment 15 hogging. So, minus third is couple moment sagging plus and fourth is this couple that is again sagging. So, plus that is equal to 0. Okay. So, this is how we are calculating the bending moment. Now, we can draw the diagram. So, to draw the diagram, we can draw a baseline. Okay. Maximum value is 30. So, we can go for 10, 15, 20 and 30. Okay. So, to start with shear force, a bending moment at point A 0. Why I have gone below? Because all the values are negative bending moment at point A is 0, bending moment at point B just right minus 10. So, at point B I have to go minus 10 over here. There is no load between A and B. So, it will be a inclined line. Then bending moment at point B just left it is minus 25. So, minus 25 will be somewhere over here right? 
and what is acting? Couple moment. So, for couple moment we have to draw a vertical line. Then bending moment at point C, if you had not taken C, if you had not taken bending moment just on right, just on left, then you could have not got this particular line. Directly you would have joined this point and whole problem will be wrong. So, what is important is whenever a couple moment is acting in bending moment, we have to take just on right and just on left. Then bending moment at point C just right minus 35. So, minus 35 will be somewhere over here. Again there is no load between C and B, it will be a inclined line. Then bending moment at point C just left minus 20 minus 20 that means we have to go upwards. So, minus 20 over here as it is a couple we have to draw a vertical line and bending moment at point D just right it is minus 30. So, minus 30 somewhere over here no load is acting we have to draw a inclined line and bending moment at point D just left 0 as it is a couple we have to draw a inclined line, a vertical straight line. So, this is how your diagram is complete. Show the confined area for bending moment as it is negative, show negative and write down the ordinates. So, 30, then this is 35, then this is 20 then uh, bending moment at point uh, B that is uh, 25 and this is 10 and over here you have to write down bending moment diagrams. So, this completes our uh, SFBM portion for uh, cantilever beam as well as for uh, simply supported beam subjected to uniformly distributed load and uniform uh, subjected to couple and subjected to point load. Now, in the next session we will uh, take overhanging beam and study a point of contraflexure. What is a point of contraflexure? How to locate that point of contraflexure that we are going to study in our next session. Have a good day. Bye.